Hi, I'm Annie Laberty, Chief Experience Officer at Northumbria Healthcare, and we're delighted this year to have been shortlisted for the Staff Experience Awards um, at Penner this year. Here's our presentation. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so this is our presentation on the development of a staff experience program designed to support happy, healthy and productive teams. I love this quote um, from Michael West. Um, I've been in the NHS for more than 30 years and caring for people at critical moments of their life has been a deep privilege for me. But Michael West's 20 years or more research into staff well-being would remind us that if what we want is high quality, safe, compassionate care for patients, we need to create environments where staff themselves feel confident, hopeful, well-educated and safe themselves in order to guarantee that outcome. And we know that there's a lot of challenges in, in staff, relating to staff experience in the NHS currently. One in 11 people will leave the NHS permanently every year. Eight in 10 will feel that the demands they face every day are unrealistic. Nearly a third feel very frustrated that they can't provide the care for patients that they would wish to. And a very worrying 40, more than 40% of staff were unwell last year due to work-related stress. We know that there's a price to pay in this. There's a human cost in terms of patient and staff experience, but there's also a massive financial cost too to poor staff health and well-being. And that income, that money could be spent in very different ways if we were to make a difference and really tackle staff experience in a systematic way across the NHS. Again, another quote from Michael West to say, it can't be right that a sector that is focused on promoting health and well-being for our population is the very sector that is putting at risk the health and well-being of at least one in 20 of its national workforce. So our work was designed to change a focus on our organization and move the dot in our data. This is the shift on the number of staff who believe that Northumbria's number one priority is on high quality patient care. And this has shifted from 43% of our staff in 2007, believing that that was the case, to an amazing 90% in the most in the most recent staff, national staff experience results. So we've created an environment in our organization where the majority of our staff, nine out of 10 of our staff believe that that is the single most important priority of the trust. In creating our staff experience program, we replicated the work we'd done in our award-winning patient experience program in that we went back to basics. We looked at the evidence base of the key domains of staff experience that were important and we identified a number of areas that we wanted to pay attention to. We wanted to make sure we measured that in a timely way and linked that measurement and data capture to improvement. We carried out a literature review. This is the reflection of 20 years of organizational research and the things that successful organizations have chosen to prioritize. We mapped those domains onto a joy at work framework that had been developed by the IHI in 2017. And when we identified those key areas for attention, we devised surveys and metrics to support every one of those domains. Our aim was to measure broadly across the trust and hear from as many staff as we could, as well as do deep improvement work with a number of pilot teams. We were hugely supported by our comms team and high quality strategy that allowed our staff to understand the work that we were trying to get off the ground in December 2018. And we listened to very early feedback, one in five of our staff reporting 
that they were experiencing violence and aggression at work from patients and families. And that led to us promoting a very prominent zero tolerance about bullying and aggression in the NHS. Our improvement um, work with our pilot teams was underpinned by an experience-based co-design methodology and we developed a 12-week framework of improvement for our teams. They were able to receive real-time data on both patient and staff experience that related to them and translate their felt experience into something that could guide improvement and change. We were absolutely delighted with the level of engagement that we secured to our pulse, for our pulse surveys. Uh, we were worried this might fade over time, um, but we discovered that this wasn't the case. Um, we, and we received more than 13,000 responses over the course of the year. We revisited our baseline data and the really exciting news was that every single domain of staff experience improved statistically for the better within 12 months, our domain average increasing to 74.4. And we were able to track sustainable engagement as a key metric in all of our surveys. And again, each element of sustainable engagement statistically better within 12 months, having listened to feedback from more than three and a half thousand staff in the September 2019. A repeat of our baseline measures, a 36 item survey demonstrated that 33 of those items were better than had been the case in December 2018. And we were especially pleased to see all of those internal results replicated in the national results too. Northumbria, already a high performer, achieving the best response rate in the NHS and then also demonstrating best in class performance as an acute and combined trust and achieving the, the top results in the NHS in seven out of the 11 domains of staff experience and well-being. So we call 2019 our year of discovery. We've learned an incredible amount of improving staff experience in this way. We've devised innovative measures for staff experience in a unique role that I have within the NHS as Chief Experience Officer. We've been able to see strong correlation between the local results that we've achieved and the national performance that Northumbria has secured. And we've had a lot of fun learning from our pilot improvement teams. 2020 was a very different year than the one we planned with COVID, but the fact that we already had an established staff experience program enabled us to take that learning and develop real-time measurement one step further through an online system called Corona Voice, truly innovative work that was supported by the Health Foundation. So we're very keen to scale this work across the, organ the NHS and learn with other organisations who are interested in doing similar work alongside this us and learning if these results are indeed scalable. So if you are interested, please do get in touch.